All right, building custom themes in Drupal, provided by masterflash.net. Uh, this video is just a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what you can find on the actual tutorial uh, located on masterflash.net. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to drop you into part two. Um, we've already created our entire uh, custom theme package, and uh, the steps that you're going to see is just starting off creating the uh, page.tpl.php. All right, so here we go. So what I'm going to say here is just script. All right, we can say type. And then it's going to be text forward slash JavaScript. Uh, and then we can state this. You know what? I'm wrong on that. I'm doing it the wrong way. Uh, we need to actually call this as a link. All right, so we're going to say link href. And then, of course, you know, we could browse, but we're going to use our, uh, you know, PHP markup. All right. So PHP. Uh, and then, of course, we need to print to our base. Or print base path open and closing parentheses dot uh, path to theme opening closing parentheses and of course we can uh, close it and then we just put our direct path to our menu dot CSS and um, once we do that we can go ahead and close that with a closing quotation marks all right media and we're gonna say all all right, relative style sheet type. Uh, what is this? Context CSS. All right, and then of course, all we have to do is close it from there. So what we've done is obviously we don't have to put any kind of directory path in here because where our menu.css file sits is you know out in the open. So all we have to do is just point this towards the menu.css and that's where it's going to be able to pick it up from. And um, our next step to this is to go ahead and set up our JavaScript file for the image preloader. All right, This right here. Now one of the reasons why I included this was because you do have the ability to set it up. Now for the menu that we're using since we're loading in several images in order for it to be like the rollover, the drop downs and all that stuff. Uh, you know, essentially, if you want your site to look good, sometimes, you know, the PNGs are so small, you know, I think they're ranging, in, you know, anywhere from like 40 kilobytes, all right, which is really just a second. So if they go to roll over the image, by the time the image or the menu drops down, well, you're going to be able to see that image, all right. But this is just another form of actually setting it up to preload. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this up as script type text and get that pulled back up again text JavaScript and uh, we can state the source and of course we just need to uh, put our PHP in here I'm going to print the base path again base path opening closing parentheses dot uh, path underscore two underscore theme opening closing parentheses space question mark closing bracket and then of course we just state our actual path to uh, the uh, JavaScript all right so what we're going to say is forward slash JS image preloader all right closing quotation marks and then we can close it and then we can of course close the script All right, so with that done, we need to go ahead and add another one. Script type equals text JavaScript. And of course, we can uh, you know, not fully close it. And then we can get down here. I'm going to tab out a little bit. Preload images with a capital I, closing parentheses, opening straight bracket. I'm going to hop down to the next line, apostrophe, um, PHP, print, base, path, Opening closing parentheses dot path to theme. Opening closing parentheses space question mark closing bracket, and then of course we can actually put the file path to our images. All right, and in this case for this one we're just referencing one of the uh, rollover items or the menu background. Okay, images bg li active dot png. 
Okay, so just close that with another apostrophe, and then of course I need to put a comma in order to add another one. All right, otherwise if you're only going to add one, just don't put that comma in there and then close it. All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to add another one. PHP print. You know what? In fact, I can go ahead and copy this. All right, I'm just going to change this file name right here. More active .png. And then, of course, I can hop down the next line and go ahead and close it. Closing straight bracket, closing parentheses, semicolon. And then, of course, we just have to uh, close the script. Or close it. And, of course, here is where we can actually close the uh, head. All right, so we can just go ahead and close head. And then uh, now we can actually get into the good stuff for formatting everything. Now, to kind of take a peek at what we're doing here, all right, now this isn't an actual image. I've got it overridden in the uh, menu.css, all right. I'm just more putting this in here to show you how to do it. Um, so if I head into the images in here and I go to the BGLI active, I can open this up, and obviously you see that this is just the reverse image that I have as the menu background. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see that it's upside down here, okay. So just wanted to show you you can do it. Um, and, and it doesn't hurt to leave it in there because all it's doing is it's just loading the page. All right. Now I would make it useful if you are loading in content, you know, make it something that's relevant. All right. So let's go ahead and open up our body. Um, and while I'm doing this, uh, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm about to do something that we're not supposed to do. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach our style sheet. That way I can have access to all of the, uh, the, the styles in the CSS. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this up with body. And then, of course, I'm going to put an ID on it. And I'm going to attach a style sheet. All right? And I'm just going to grab the style sheet from here. Okay? And what that's done is it's just automatically added this in here to allow me to go and choose which one that I want. And, of course, I want to set the body up. All right? Just making it easy for me to select it. That way we're not sitting here typing everything forever. All right? And what I'll end up doing is... You know, when we're finished, I'll end up coming back and deleting this because obviously we're referencing this in the dot .info. It's not really necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, hop down to the next line. I'm just going to go to the front here, and we're going to set up the min width div um, class min width. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right, so this min width, if I open up the style sheet, obviously up here you can see that I've got it linked. All right, so if I open this up and I run a search, I'm going to hit find all. If I type it right, it will find it. Min width, find all. All right, what I'm looking for is this right here. All right, basically... You can see what we've done, all right? We've set the, uh, the, the class here up at 1,000 by 1,000 pixels, okay? And this is going to be the width. This is going to basically be the minimum width of the entire site. And we're setting it at 1,001. This is just the way that I do it, all right? Set it up at 1,001 because everything else we're going to do is going to be basically 1,000 width, all right? Uh, I'm sure in some point, places I'll have it as 1,001, all right? As you can see down here, the setup margin for the site. But we're going to set the margins and everything else at zero, and then, of course, the 1,001 width. And we'll set this style up here, in a sh here shortly. I just wanted to uh, point that out. All right, so if we drop down here, we can set up the application top. So div uh, class application top. I'm going to go ahead and close it. All right, so hunting that, that, hunting that down, if I come in here, find a replace, find all. I'm just trying to look for it. There we go. Okay, so application top. Now, what this is, all right, we're actually loading in this BG underscore top two image. All right, so if I come in over here and dig this one up, you can see that this is one of the images that loads across the top. All right, what I'm talking about is this right here. Now, one thing to point out, this top 
is different than the application bar. All right, the top is the width beyond our 1001 width that we're you know we're basically keeping everything contained in. Okay, you can sort of see the discrepancy in the image that I've set up in here. All right. Now this drop shadow is coming down a little bit lower than the one out here on the left. Now this application bar or this application top here is what's you know uh, spreading out 100% width of the site and basically you know repeating that image over and over and over again and until we hit this section in here where we're actually referring to it from another location. So that style is basically what we're working with right there. All right, so let me dump this out of the way. And as you can see, all right, we just set the background URL up to uh, be that, all right? And uh, this is set at 100%. Okay, so if I hop back in here, we go ahead and hop down to the next line. Here's where we can set up the style for one of our uh, custom blocks that we're going to be building. All right, we're going to say div, PHP, if site wide block is. All right, this is a colon. That is the end of the sample video for creating custom themes in Drupal. Uh, in order to get your hands on source files, watch the entire video tutorial, go ahead and head towards masterflash.net, and uh, you'll see our Drupal section in there somewhere. Hope you enjoy it.